the relationship between uh, society and new technologies. Uh, the work I'm going to present today is uh, a comparison uh, between uh, two of the most uh, important social network sites in Italy. Since their introduction, social network sites have attracted millions of users, as you all uh, know. Uh, and while the social network site phenomenon is a global uh, one, uh, when we take a look to the local adoption of different platforms, we start to see uh, a very different um, uh, picture. For example, uh, the Royal Pigdom, Pigdom which is a, a Swedish-based uh, um, enterprise, uh, showed this uh, uh, chart a few uh, months ago. They made these charts using uh, a service made available by Google, which is called Google uh, Insights. Uh, and basically what it does is that uh, if you input one keyword, it will say uh, how many times that, that keyword uh, has been used on Google. And uh, it, it can also allow you to map uh, this data automatically. So it's, it's, it's a very beautiful uh, picture, but it's very, well, it's very easy to do. Uh, you can try yourself, it's absolutely easy. Uh, what we can see here is that uh, taking for uh, uh, example these four uh, social net network websites, we can see that it's, uh, we have a very different picture. For example, MySpace is very popular in the United States, Facebook in Canada, and uh, France are in, all, in uh, the, uh, most of the Asia. Uh, all put in Brazil, as we all know, <laughs> thanks to our uh, colleagues from Brazil. Uh, so, um, what I, I started to do is to uh, try to create uh, a similar picture from Italy. Um, and what I found is that uh, the most popular uh, social network website in Italy is not one of the most famous, but it's, uh, uh, this one is called Badu, and I will introduce it uh, to you later. So I started to think about why uh, this service is so popular in Italy uh, and, and also in Venezuela for uh, in <laughs> strange reasons. Uh, there must be something probably in the, in the Italian culture that makes this uh, service so popular. So I decided to um, run a comparison between uh, two of the most popular websites, uh, social network websites. Uh, First one is Balu, which is the, the most popular in Italy, and the second one is Facebook, which is the most popular in all, uh, all over the, the world. Um, Balu is a, is a UK-based uh, multilingual social network website. And it offers users the ability to connect with people at a local and global level, allowing them to share photos and videos, uh, to create reportage of their lives and promote themselves and their work. So it's, it's very similar to other social network websites, but it's mainly uh, based on uh, uh, rating and sharing of pictures. Before uh, entering to the details of the, um, of the research, I would like to introduce some concepts I need to explain my hypothesis. Uh, the first, uh, I'm sure all, uh, all, uh, most, of, most uh, of us are already well uh, familiar with this concept, uh, but uh, I will introduce it briefly. Uh, the first concept is this difference between the uh, so-called network space and the geographic space. We have a lot about uh, how uh, the space is still important, still matters even in, the, in, the, in our uh, network at time. Uh, but what we may uh, say about this distinction between uh, uh, graphics, geographic space and network space is that uh, mainly uh, we, we all know how to move in this geographic space where the, everything is measured in uh, kilometers or miles and so on. Uh, but uh, not all of us are very uh, mm, expert in moving in this geographic space where the measure is uh, made in how many uh, nodes in the network you have to cross to reach the uh, information or the person you need. So it's a, it's a different kind of space, but uh, it's not substituting the, the geographic space. And what we can say now is that young people 
can move from once one uh, from the from the geographic to the network space very easily, while uh, older people uh, sometimes uh, have difficulties to, to get the network space. Um, Dana Boyd uh, found these four properties for the communication in network at space, which is permanence, replicability, searchability, and municipal audience. I will not explain this because I'm sure you are all aware about this. Uh, what I found is that uh, if we uh, try to uh, examine these uh, four properties in an historical perspective, you can see we have uh, two rows uh, with few and many, which means uh, few people may assess this kind of communication or many people can assess this kind of communication. This was more or less the situation before the web. Uh, what happened with the web? Uh, first, uh, the traditional uh, professional created content becomes searchable. Uh, think, for example, about, about a service like Google Blog ser Book Search, where you can input a keyword and he will find in all the book, uh, scan uh, the precise page you are looking for. Uh, this same uh, applies to Google News for, uh, uh, for information. Um, then, uh, we have this very crucial uh, um, moment where uh, many people become able to publish online their contents uh, against uh, what we may uh, define or what the Dana Boy defined as invisible audience. Uh, it's like when you, have, when, you, uh, when you write a blog, it's similar or when you publish something on the internet, you will never know exactly who will assess this content. Even if uh, most of the people just publish it online and think to be more or less sure about who is the audience, but the audience is, is often it's always invisible on the, on the network. And then it comes, of course, the possibilities to search this kind of content, uh, not only the professional one, but also the, uh, uh, the amateur one, I would say. So, uh, what happens when uh, the masses as access to mass media, not only on the consumer side, but on the producer side. side. It, 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 uh, uh, a new kind of, of public arise, uh, which is called or usually a network mediated public. If we, think of, if we think about the word public, uh, we can give two different meanings to this word. Uh, public is a space where uh, uh, everyone can assess uh, for example, this piece is uh, uh, done in a public space because it is a street. But public is also uh, the audience, the classical uh, audience uh, as defined by Sonia Livingston, for example. What we are um, uh, witnessing now is the arise of a new kind of public, which is uh, the public of um, of the contents are made available by a mass of people, the user-generated content. And this public is quite different from uh, uh, the one of before. And it's interesting because it's, it's some, somewhat a, a mix of uh, the two previous concepts of public. Uh, because uh, you are, when you publish something, you are going public. And at the same time, you are uh, uh, dealing with a new kind of public. Um, but as I told you uh, before, sometimes uh, when you start to publish something, especially uh, for young people, uh, they do not realize how public is the contents they are sharing. And so, uh, but they, they suddenly realize it when uh, uh, their father or their uh, parent or uh, their teacher, uh, uh, they realize that they can assess this content very easily. Uh, or for example, they realize that the, uh, reporters may assess the contents very easy and they, cre they can um, create reports like this uh, which is a degenerate generation and it's very critical uh, watching YouTube videos and uh, talking about this uh, uh, this young generation as a very um, 
a generation uh, without values and so on. But this uh, kind of uh, media coverage uh, makes also people understand that they are uh, dealing with an invisible audience. So, uh, the main hypothesis I started from is that um, since Badoo was so popular uh, uh, in the in a few years ago, uh, probably uh, the um, typical user of Badoo had shared a different kind of uh, um, a new media literacy skill, especially um, on two uh, topics. The first one is the dis distinction between public and private, the one I was talking about right now. And the second one is that uh, Badu user appear to <coughs> may to use the website to make new friends, while uh, Facebook Facebook user seems to use the website mainly to uh, um, to reinforce the inf the relationship they already have in place. So I decided to um, design this methodology. Uh, we ran in March uh, a telephonic survey with a uh, sample of the representative sample of Italian population. Uh, in August, uh, I tried to analyze the use of demographics, which is very tricky because it's changing in, in an incredible fast way. And uh, in September, I created this uh, web survey uh, with a random selected sample of Facebook and Badoo users. And here is the results. Mm. According to our survey, uh, we have 18% of people in Italy having uh, a web, uh, having a, a, some kind of profiles uh, on uh, on the internet. And uh, you can see here the different uh, uh, ages. When I started to uh, look at this phenomenon, I came across this uh, post on Jill Walker website, uh, where she was announcing that uh, uh, in 2007, actually, uh, in the 16 to 19 years old uh, um, range of people in Norway, 83.5% uh, was on Facebook. So I tried to uh, do the same analysis uh, on uh, uh, Italian population. And this, these were the results. 1% in uh, April 2008 was uh, on Facebook and 21% was uh, on uh, uh, Badoo. Right now the situation is a little different because as you can see Facebook uh, uh, increased in an incredible way the number of subscribers lately. Uh, since I was interested to understand uh, if people are, try, are uh, making new friends or are, uh, trying to uh, enforce existing relationship, I try to uh, uh, compare the results from a very popular um, uh, research made in the United States. And this is more or less the results. I also uh, made a geographical analysis using the same tool I was talking about before. You can also zoom in uh, one uh, region. And you can see from here that Facebook is mainly used in the north of Italy. Uh, I'm, I'm sure not all, not all of you are uh, aware of the differences in uh, such economic status in the south and north of Italy. Uh, but this picture means uh, a lot to someone who uh, knows these uh, differences. And you can see the number of profiles um, right now. During the last uh, few days, as I said, uh, Facebook uh, has grown in an incredible way in, uh, in Italy. Uh, I, I took this picture from a presentation from uh, one of my colleagues. The presentation was done one week ago. And uh, uh, it was uh, reporting this 1,600,000 uh, 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 users. But nowadays, it's already 180. If we take a look at the um, age distribution, we can uh, um, pinpoint that uh, while the while by do distribution is quite uh, is typical of, of social network website because it's very uh, it's made by very young people and it decreases very uh, rapidly. Um, Facebook core is, uh, uh, especially in Italy, uh, the mean of user age in Facebook is quite high. 
I uh, reported a couple of tables about uh, the perception of privacy, where it, you can see that uh, a comparison between Facebook and uh, Badoo, this is the, the website where I, I was talking about, and you can see that uh, um, there is a very strong difference even in the perception of privacy. Same applies to when we take a look at the distinction between bridging and bonding. Uh, Badoo users uh, uh, seems to be very uh, uh, used to uh, make new friends on the website, uh, and uh, uh, Facebook users uh, mainly stay in touch with the person they already know. Same applies to this other table. So I may conclude that. Uh, The uh, two hypotheses where it can be considered confirmed uh, because, um, the, because of the results of the survey, as you can see. Um, one of one things I'm interested in is to see that, that uh, if this uh, kind of skill to distinguish between public and private, to use the private-public distinction in a network space, may be uh, seen as a global phenomenon. And uh, if in other uh, countries we can experience the same. Thank you.